I suck. Daily vlog number 35. There, I said it. I suck. Well, at least that's something I used to say a lot. I used to be extremely critical of myself. Far more critical of myself than I'd be of other people. I'd hold myself to a higher standard than others. I'd nitpick every little tiny mistake I'd make. If I got a 99 on a test, I'd wonder why I didn't get a 100. I would reach epic levels of personal insults, saying things to myself that if anyone else had ever said to me, I'd probably sock him in the face. I know I'm not alone. I know there are many people out there who are overly critical of themselves. I'm too fat, I'm too thin, I'm too dumb, I'm too slow, I'm too, you name it. Why am I bringing this up? Because I came across something that reminded me of what helped me get out of this. Someone I follow on YouTube, normally because I just happen to like her music, is a young violinist named Lindsey Sterling. She released a video that had nothing to do with music, but was really about thinking positively. It reminded me of some of the tools that I use to silence the inner SOB that would normally berate me at every turn. I'll put a link to her video down in the doobly-doo. But for right now, I just wanted to share with you a couple of the things that really helped, just in case this may be speaking to you. Number one, ask yourself, what's the point? Seriously, what is the point of berating yourself? What is the point of being unnecessarily critical. I'm not saying don't examine your motives or your performance and evaluate yourself. That's very different. But what is the point of outright negativity? I started asking myself when the little SOB in my head would start piping up, what is the point of this? Because really, there is no point in beating yourself up. No point that's positive. By asking myself that question, I was able to break my inner SOB's cycle and pull myself out of that pattern of self-deprecation. And in doing so, I was able to more constructively deal with whatever the shortcoming or perceived shortcoming was that I was beating myself up about. Number two, write down a list of things you like about yourself. Now, this isn't supposed to be an exercise in ego stroking, but a practical way of directing your attention towards the things about you that you actually admire. It could be, I really like my hair. I really like my complexion. I really like how awesome my beard is. But write down things about your personality, about your talents and abilities that you actually like. So that when you start that downward spiral of self-abuse, you can take a look at it and remind yourself that there are good things about you that even you like. Number three, ask somebody to write a list like that about you. Find someone who you can trust and who will take this seriously. Number four, do a purposeful act of kindness. You'll be amazed at how doing something nice for another person makes you feel that much better about yourself. I'm not talking about a random act of kindness where at the spur of the moment you think, hey, I'll pay for the coffee of the guy behind me at Starbucks. Those are good, and by all means, do those. But a purposeful act of kindness is one where you take time to plan out a kindness or a good deed for somebody else be it your spouse or your best friend or your neighbor or the crossing guard at your corner who looks kind of miserable every morning. The point is to invest time and effort into making someone else's day a little brighter. And number five, shut up. Saying shut up to the inner SOB has been the most empowering and effective way of stopping that downward spiral of self-deprecation. Since I started doing all of this, it has been a miraculous change in my mind. It's improved how I work. It's improved how I relate to others. It's improved, most importantly, my relationship with God because it stopped making me so self-conscious about how horrible I am. And that if I see this in myself, other people must see it too, especially God. When in reality, it's just the inner SOB who is being an SOB. Obviously, if you have some really debilitating issues regarding self-deprecation and self-hatred, I highly recommend you talk to somebody who can help you through it. And I don't just mean a friend, a pastor, a counselor, a therapist. Somebody who knows how to help guide you to the point where you can realize that you do have inherent worth and are worth loving and respecting and honoring. What are three things that you really like about yourself? Don't be afraid to post them. I want to read them. Just keep it clean. This has been daily vlog number 35. 330 to go. I'll see you tomorrow.